All right, guys. So I'm back again for a another eGPU build. Uh, I got my faithful handyman companion right here, handling the camera, Beeble to Evil. <laughs> so without further ado, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna show you guys how to build an eGPU setup with this stuff. Go ahead and show them the parts, people. So. Our power supply, we're going to go with power supply. We got a 600 watt uh, EVGA power supply. Let's go ahead and head to the graphics card here. We got a GeForce Zotac GTX 1070 Mini. Right there guys, I think it's awesome. And then for our Thunderbolt 2 to PCIe connection, guys I went with something other than the Akidio this time. I went with the Rocket Store 6361A. This thing, I'm not going to lie to you guys, um, I paid less for this setup than I did for the GTX 1060 setup. I got these parts for damn good prices and Amazon, you got to love it. Got to love it. So without further ado, we'll get into it. And the MacBook Air, which is our computer of choice. Alright guys, so we're back here. I got all the boxes open. And... These are the parts right here. So we got the high point. This is the PCIe to Thunderbolt connection. Show you guys right here. Guys, there's nothing wrong with buying used parts on Amazon. Uh, just make sure you can return them because if they don't work, you want to be able to return them. So this is the PCIe connection. The only thing I need is the body and the Thunderbolt 2 cable that comes with it. Everything else, guys, don't even bother opening it. Just place it back in there. So with that being said, go ahead and close that up. And that's that. Now, let's zoom back to this, people. This is the PCIe connection. So, it's a real nice box, guys. If you look here, high point, real good quality. I liked it a lot. My only complaint was with the Akidio box. It was literally just, everything was nice and smooth. With this one, I had to make some modifications. So, pull that out, and here we go guys, that's it. That's, that's what we plug our, that's what we plug our uh, graphics card into. And it runs into the back right there to the Thunderbolt. So, as you can see here, you got your DC 12 volt power supply. And that's pretty much that. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is go ahead, right here, right here, I had to drill that hole. I had to custom drill a hole. And I used one of the screws from the power supply to mount the top of the graphics card in. So, that's how I did that, guys. Now, next thing we're gonna go over is the muscle of this group. The GTX 1070 Mini. I love this card, guys. Real nice looking card. So, that right there, guys. That was also a used part. Looks good to me, though. It looks brand new. And it comes with a, what is this? Double barrel six pin. So, I think it's eight. Comes with it, and a real nice set. So, without further ado, I'll get you guys to how you set this up. Well, all right guys, we're back. I got everything out. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to connect all this. Now for my barrel plug, look at my GTX uh, 1060 video. Um, it'll show you how to get this set up put together. So it's real simple guys. It's real simple. Alright, people, you ready? Alright, so here we go. It's already recording. So I got my barrel plug put together already, guys. Now for my power supply, that comes with this bad boy right here. These double six pin connections. So go ahead and connect those. Get this party started. Let's 
going on here? Okay, there we go. All right, guys, there's our power supply for our graphics card and for our uh, for our box for our PCIe box. So we're gonna take this card. Now, guys, I don't know about you, but I use the uh, phone that came with it. Here's the phone that came with it. And guys, I had to bend one of the fins back here. If you look at an angle, it's a little bit. This one right here, I had to bend just outwards a little bit to get it to slide in here. But people here. Yeah, pointing at the floor. Or at the table. So without further ado, go ahead and put that on there. No, it's go ahead and get it. Best you get best as you can. So we slide that in like that. And guys, you'll you'll hear it fall in. And then I take that little screw I got. Place that on there. That custom hole I drilled out. Go ahead and run that screw into there. Guys, you don't need it real tight. This stuff doesn't have to be cranked down as hard as you possibly can. And from here, I'll show you guys how to get it connected and up and running. So, I'm going to keep the camera on it, people. So you take your power supply, plug it in on the top for the card. And we take our barrel plug. We'll go ahead and... Woo! That's not good. Shouldn't have fucking power. This motherfucker is on. Mm -mm. Well, guys, don't do what I just did. Mm hmm. Yeah, do not do what I just did to have your power supply on while you're going to plug in. I don't know why it was on. And I'll never do that again. Good thing I touched the outside. I didn't blow up anything. Shit. So we got that. Everything's good to go. So guys, I don't know about you, but I really like how this stands, so. I'll go ahead and lay it down. Or maybe set it up. Alright guys, and that's set up. Alright guys, so we're back after that silly mishap I did. You know what, we all make mistakes and uh, I'm the first to admit it. So with that being said, I have my power supply off because apparently it was on. I don't know why the hell it was on. Um, I got it running. It's connected to my uh, Zotac GTX 1060. And then my barrel plug, which is right back here. I got it connected. And then my Thunderbolt, which is running right here onto the laptop. So I'm, so, I'm going to show you guys how to get this turned on. So power button. Going back up here. Now, hold down your option key when it boots up, so you can boot it up in the windows. Now guys, I already got the new drivers downloaded for the graphics card, so... Now, here's the trick, people. Go ahead and back up, people. Get the whole screen along with it. Uh, when I go to boot this up, you turn your power supply on the moment the windows insignia comes up, so... Bam! That's when you turn it on. As you can see, the span or the fans were spinning. They stop now because this card it doesn't even run the fans unless it begins to get hot or under load. And show, go ahead and show you guys. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> so all right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. People try not to. We go to the table. 
We're gonna go to settings, devices, connected devices, device manager, and display adapters. Guys, look at that. NVIDIA. Right there. Which means it's reading it. It is reading it. So, our next step, guys, I'm gonna show you the difference between the card running and regular. So, go ahead and pause it. Alright, guys, so we're back with the GTX 1070 uh, eGPU setup. Uh, in a future video, guys, I'll go ahead and clean this up. I'll probably make a uh, housing unit for it or something. But, uh, Guys, I'm doing uh, The Witcher 3 on the internal screen. And if you look here, 60 frames per second. That's usually what it stays locked on. It'll drop to like 59, 58. But this is everything on high, guys. This is with the internal screen. So you guys have seen it. A MacBook Air. And I am able to game at 60 frames per second on my MacBook Air. And this is The Witcher 3. Uh, I currently have everything on high and it's hitting 60, so hold that real quick. Guys, I'm gonna try putting everything on Ultra. See how it does at 1440 by 900. So, video, graphics. Uh, let's try Ultra, Ultra, Ultra. Ultra, 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 Ultra. All right, everything's on Ultra, guys. Let's see how that does. All right, so on Ultra at 1440 by 900, getting about 50, 50 frames per second. So, I mean, even on Ultra, guys, you guys can game on Ultra. I really don't see a difference. Oh, the fans just kicked on. Fans barely kicked on. If you look right here, they're moving. So, has the heat on this. The laptop, laptop doesn't get too bad either, guys. It doesn't get that warm. That's on ultra right now. It's balancing around 43, 44. So, me personally, I like, I like rocking at uh, 60 frames. So, I'm going to put everything back to uh, high. That's just where I like it. Uh, still looks, still looks real good, and uh, gets you some real clean, real clean. Uh, what? There you have it, guys. There you have it. 60 frames per second on the internal screen. All right. Oh, snap. got some action. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah. yeah. There you have it, guys. And that is an eGPU GTX 1070 Mini, guys. There you have it.